myself i am banu prasad working as assistant professor in mbr mbr engineering college and technology today we will discuss about dnc control systems and uh, adaptive control systems amma so see here dnc direct numerical controller so direct numerical control is a manufacturing system ma, in which number of machines are controlled by a computer through a direct uh, direct connecting in a real life is known as the direct numerical control amma direct numerical control is one of the uh, manufacturing systems in which number of machines are controlled by a computer through the direct so number of machines are controlled by a computer through the direct connection one and a real time is known as the direct numerical control amma so one computer can be used to control hundred separate machines and it is designed to provide the instructions to each mission tool on a demand one so this one we can call as the direct numerical control so in previous lecture we will discuss about nc machines cnc machines but in this today lecture we will discuss about dnc direct numerical control one so in direct numerical control one uh, it is uh, one of the uh, one of the numerical control one so in this numerical control one the computer can control the total number of machineries through the direct connection in a real time is known as the direct numerical control one so one computer used to control 100 separate machines and it is uh, and it is designed to provide instruction to the mission tools and a demand is known as direct numerical control so see here so it is the uh, basic uh, basic structure of the dnc one so it is a con uh, computer amma so direct connection onwards uh, we can control the so number of machineries so these are the number of machineries so one single computer directly we are connecting to the number of machines one so we can do the operations on number of number of uh, machineries one so this one we can call as the direct numerical control one one computer can control number of machineries so that's why we can call as it is one of the dc direct numerical control on a real time one it is real time one it is controlling number of machineries so that's why we can call as it is one of the dc systems so you see here general configuration of direct numerical control amma so see here general uh, general configuration of a direct numerical control system see here it is a central computer one it is a bulk memory nc programs one so see here is a computer one so it is a computer this computer connection is given to the telecommunications lines so see here each and every connection is sent to the the program is sent to the mcu one the mcu directly sent to the machine tools one so this second machinery so based on the computer we are arranging four types of machineries here directly in the input program is sent to the mcu mcu is sent to the mcu is can convert to into the so program instruction to the mechanical motion one so that's why these these mechanical motion is sent to the plate machine uh, nc machines one so this one also the program is sent to the mc one after then sent to the plate machine one so this one telecommunications line so these are the this input one input is given to the mc mc then convert to the mechanical motion and to the plate one so this is a connection one this is general configuration of a direct numerical control system so it is a bulk memory bulk memory for nc program one so this more the central computer one it is bulk memory so through the computer onwards we are giving to the four machineries connection one so directly it is uh, controlling and doing the operation on this four machineries one so this type of process uh, this type of layouts we can call as the direct numerical control systems so connection to the mcu is behind the tape reader so btr so see here connection to the uh, mcu one so behind the tape reader it is a tape reader btr so in distributed nc entire program are downloaded downloaded to each mcu so in a distributed nc entire program so the distributed nc program are downloaded to each mcu one so each mcu onwards the program will be downloaded here so which is cnc rather than conventional nc one which is cnc rather than conventional nc machines is called as the general configuration of direct numerical control system one so see here and there were, what is the advantages and disadvantages of direct numerical control so it is one of the what are the advantages what are the disadvantages see here advantages greater computer and flexibility so here we have the greater computation and flexibility we can see so in advantages one second one is eliminates use of punches tapes so eliminate the use of punches tape one so converting storage of nc path programming in computer files one so direct conversion of data from 
TAG 2, MC program 1. So increase in productivity, save time. So these are the advantages of the direct numerical control. So DC, uh, DNC systems work. So see here, first one is greater computation and flexibility we have in this DNC machinery. Second one is eliminates use of punch states. That is the second advantage. It is eliminates the punch states one. Third one is convolutional storage of NC path programming in computer file. Convolution storage, storage in NC path programming in computer file only. The storage total program is in computer file only. So direct uh, convolutional of data from CAD to NC, NC program. Direct converting data from CAD to NC. Direct there is no medium one. So directly the program CAD to it is directly converting to the NC machines one. So next one is increasing productivity. So it is automatically day to day for hour to hour. It increases the productivity one. It is saving the time one. So it is saving the time. So by using the direct numerical control, it is saving the time. Why? Because so one uh, computer based on the, we are we are running the so many machineries. So that's why we can call as it is a direct numerical control one. So comes to here one. These are the disadvantages here. So the only disadvantage of DNC is the computer breaks down. But the computer is so reliable, so that this is uh, unlikely to occur. So some example one, uh, suddenly the computer will be break down. What happened? The total total production will be stopped suddenly one. So that is one of the drawback or disadvantage for the direct numerical control one. So something some type likely terminal based DNC systems and network based DNC systems are expensive ones. So some types. Uh, some one of the some of the DNC machinery is thermal based on DNC systems and network based on DNC systems are expensive ones. So these are we can use it some systems terminal based network based network based on what so, so DNC uh, DND systems are very expensive ones. So that is one of the disadvantages for the direct numerical control. So these are the advantages. These are the disadvantages of the direct numerical control. So next one we can see adaptive control. Adaptive control. So first topic is uh, DNC, direct numerical control one. Based on the computer, we can control the number of number of operations, number of missionaries one. It control the number of missionaries, number of operations, it will be it will be controlling. So that's what we can call as DNC, direct numerical control one. But comes to here AC. ACS adapt to control systems. So it is a logical extension of the NC and DNC one. So it is a one of the logical extension of the NC and CNC one. So in previous lecture we will discuss about NC and CNC. It is a logical NC and CNC logical extension is nothing but adapt to control systems. So it is an improvement of the cutting process. So it is the why because they are using these. Uh, uh, ACS means uh, why they are extended uh, these ACS systems means in NC and CNC missions. So it is improving the cutting process one. So improvement cutting purpose they introduce the AC systems. So by automatic online determination of the feed and cutting speed one. So it is the improvement of the cutting process by automatic online determination of the feed and cutting speed is known as the adaptive control systems one. So next one is basically feedback system in which the cutting speed and uh, feed automatically adapt themselves to the actual condition of the process one. So it is one of the benefit uh, for the adaptive control systems one. Basically feedback systems, uh, basically feedback systems in which the cutting speed and feed automatically adapt themselves to the actual conditions of the process one. So this one we can call as adaptive control systems. It, had, it adapted themselves to the actual conditions of the process one automatically. So that's why we can call as it is adaptive control systems one. See here, cutting speed and feed have to be varied in such a way as to improve the performance levels one. So the cutting speed and feed have to be varied in such a way. Why? Because they are improve the performance level one. So the speed and feed will be added. Why? Because to implement the performance level one. So that is one of the major major advantages for the adaptive control systems one. So it is the basic introduction about the adaptive control systems. So this adaptive control system is nothing. It is the logical extension of the NC and CNC machines. So NC machines we have CNC machines. Have. But based on these two ones, they are extending the 
adaptive control systems so why because improvement of the cutting process by the automatic online determination of the speed and cutting speed one so this purpose they introduce the they extend the adaptive control systems one so basically the feedback system in which cutting speed and feed automatically adapt themselves to the actual condition of the process one so that's why is one of the major uses one automatically it adapt the adapted themselves to the actual condition of the process one so next one is cutting speed and feed have to vary the speed and uh, Our feed are varied. Such a way, why? Because it improve the performance level now. So that's why this type of points and what we can call as it is one of the very very important adaptive control system one. So see here basic structure of ACC adaptive control systems on what so so see here requirement force one this is a so in this adaptive control system one see this is speed and speed it is a few times feed limits so this feed limits it is a speed uh, spindle speed one so it is a required force one so adaptive control routine here so next one is we send to the adaptive control and so we send to the feed rate ro uh, routine so in this one we have the clock timing also so after then we send to the logical direction control loop one so it is a long tunnel z direction and we have the x direction also after then we send to the lathe one after then we lathe one we have the two connections one pulse to velocity sensor so again it send to the direction one so next one we have the force sensor force sensor we send to the amplifiers see here again this force sensor then send to the amplifiers the adc next one is send to the adaptive control routine one so this is the basic structure of acc amma the program starts from like this onwards required force onwards it is sent to the adaptive control routine one after then it is sent to the feed rate routine one after then it is sent to the uh, axis control loop one x axis z axis so next then we send to the lathe one in lathe one the operation will be done here but in lathe one we have the two connections the first one is positive velocity sensor one positive and velocity sensor it is a force sensor so two sensors in here the positive velocity sensor again we give to the log uh, log tunnel x direction control loop one so this is uh, log tunnel x direction control loop one. control the sensors one so comes to the force sensor we give to the directly to the adaptive controls routine one so why we uh, see here again the force sensors we give to the here why because it is a required force required one so that's why this force sensor is connection to the this adaptive control routine one so that's why i am the adc we, uh, again we send to the adaptive control routine one so it is a computer so this is the basic structure of the acc adaptive control system acs So next one is benefits of AC uh, adaptive control system. So what is the benefits of the adaptive control systems? We see here increase the production rates. So it increase the production rates one. So it increase the tool life one. So greater product part production one. Less operation in uh, in what intervention one. So these are one of the basic benefits and basic advantages of the AC one adaptive control. First one is increase the production rates. so automatically when we can use an adaptive control system one so what is the major uh, benefits means uh, we can observe the increase in the production rates one so second one is increase in the tool life one so automatically it increase the tool life one so next one is greater part production we have in this uh, especially for automatic control uh, uh, adaptive control system onwards so next one is less operations intervention one so these are the one of the benefit for the ac one adaptive control systems one so this is the overall Third unit, ma. Overall third unit. So this is the overall third unit. We learn these are the topics one. So comes to third unit is uh, path programming for the MC machines. In path programming for the MC machines, first one is uh, basic introduction about the MC one. So in the MC machines basics, uh, basics that is the first topic one. Next one is principal operation of MC one. Next one is we can see MC modes one. So next one generally we have the four types of modes one. So the unlocked one. So next one is modes modes onwards. We can start for features of MC machines. So that is the MC machines topic. So next one is we can see for so CNC one introduction about the CNC. So next one is the CNC modes one and the features of CNC one. So in CNC one we have the so based on the tools one we have the features based on the machineries we have the features one. So that is the advantages and applications of the CNC one. So that is the CNC topic one. Next one is today topic is DC one. So DC and AC one, AC is just control systems one. DAC means direct control systems one, AC means adaptive control systems one. So these are the overall third third unit. Amma comes to our uh, our top. These are third unit one. So the our total third unit is completed one. So next one we can start for fourth unit. Amma we start for fourth unit. Group technology. 
so group technology why we start this uh, unit means uh, i previously had told you so second unit managa vachhi samma totally ad lab related ga untadi second unit mottham kuda endukante lab related lab meeku ardham avutane aa unit ko chittana ardham avutundi endukante man totally depending on 2d 3d three dimensional objects kuda untai mottham dantlo second unit lo so it is one of the design and modeling one modeling and drafting process that is completely related to the uh, lab one so that's why uh, when when the lab will be started when on that purpose we can start the second unit kuda ipudaithe manaku lab start avuddu ఆటోమేటిక్ గా మనం సెకండ్ యూనిట్ కూడా స్టార్ట్ చేస్తా ఉన్నా ఎందుకంటే ఈ ఇప్పుడు ఈ ఆన్లైన్ టైమ్ లో నేను సెకండ్ యూనిట్ మీకు మీకు స్టార్ట్ చేసి సో మిమ్మల్ని కన్ఫ్యూజ్ చేయడం నాకు ఇష్టం లేదు ఎందుకంటే రిమైనింగ్ యూనిట్స్ కి చాలా మీకు ఈజీగా అర్థం అవుతుంది నేను అబిలిటీ ఉన్నా ఉన్నా లేకపోయినా మీ ఈజీ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ది దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ టాపిక్స్ లో బట్ సెకండ్ యూనిట్ ఇస్ నాట్ యూ కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ వై బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ల్యాబ్ రిలేటెడ్ యూనిట్ మోన్ so that's why i will start uh, today i will start for fourth unit but it is actually syllabus one it is a fourth unit but uh, our comes to our topic one it is a third unit work so second unit lo kuda maximum mid lo kuda edo two topics and you complete this is mid ki chestan amma no don't worry so enduku meeku ivvatledante major reason ide amma lab related topics avi meeku ipu start chesthe meeke em ardham avadu 2d 3d so arising drafting ivanni meeku kuda clear ga nenu laptop lo nenu explain cheyaledu ante lab lo unde lab meer chestha undante oka point nenu explain cheyadaniki పాసిబిలిటీస్ ఉంటాయి మీకు ఈజీగా క్యాచీగా అర్థం అవుతూ ఉంటుంది సో ఈ టైంలో నేను ల్యాబ్ లేకుండా మీకు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తే అమౌంట్ అంటే కొంచెం డిఫికల్టీగా ఉంటుంది అంటే మీకు నేను ఎంత 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 నేను ట్రై చేసి మీకు ఇంక క్లియర్గా ఇంక ఈజీగా ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేద్దాం ఉన్నా కూడా యూ కెనాట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ సో దట్స్ వై కూడా ఐ విల్ స్టార్ట్ ఫర్ ఫోర్త్ యూనిట్ సిలబస్ వన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫోర్త్ యూనిట్ బస్ట్ కమ్స్ టు అవర్ టాపిక్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ థర్డ్ యూనిట్ వన్ గ్రూప్ టెక్నాలజీ సో సి హియర్ గ్రూప్ టెక్నాలజీ జీటి so the gd is a manufacturing philosophy so gd is a one of the manufacturing philosophy in which similar parts are identified and grouped together into make advantages of their similarities in design and production one so this one we can call as the production uh, group technology work so uh, group technology one of the manufacturing philosophy in which similar parts are identified so in this group technology similar parts are there identified similar means common so based on the size based on the same one similar parts are there identified one and group it together so in this group technology what the major role of the this group technology means similar parts are it will be identified and group it together to make the advantage of their similarities uh, in design and production one so this one we can call as the group technology so group technology ante ent ante mo similar parts ni em chestundi ante similar parts and how can we know ante based on the size based on the structure and based on the dimensions one structure basis so ante okay structure lo unnai annitni kuda group technology use chestadu and identify chestadu identify chesina tarvata em chestadu ante group ga form chestadu untadu so to make the advantage of uh, these uh, similarities in design and production one so it is the advantages the end lo ante design lo gaani production lo gaani so this type of technology is very adv- uh, very useful one so ee em chestadu ante similarities konna parts ni em chestadu ante identify chesi group chestadu so that's why it is called as the group technology so similar parts they are arranged into the part families so similar parts are it is arranged into one of the part families so we where each part family possess similar design and or manufacturing characteristics each part family can possess a similar design so based on the structure so that is the nothing but design one or manufacturing characteristics so, so this purpose they are arranged into the group one the group is nothing but one of the part family so grouping the production one grouping the production equipments into the machine cells grouping the production equipments into the machine cells so the equipments is arranged into the machine cells one so which where each cells specialized in the production of the part families so each cell specializes into the production of the fat family so that's why we can call as one of the cellular manufacturing so in this type of process we can call as one of the cellular manufacturing one why because so the total production equipments we are arranging into the one machine cells so the total production equipments equipments we have so many equipments so the total equipments is nothing but raw materials we have so cutting one so extra uses materials also we have so the total or oh, equipments so they are arranged into the one machine cells one so each and every cell they are specialized in the production production of the fat family one so that's why we can call as it is a one of the cellular manufacturing one so next one you see here it is the basic introduction about the group technology 
so see here benefits of the group technology so uh, it uh, affects all areas of the company company including one so the, the group technology uh, these are the applications where we can use it for group technology means first one is engineering one engineering field we can use it the equipment specifications we can use it group technology next one is uh, specially this planning purpose we can use it for group technology process planning purpose we can use it group technology production control purpose we can use it for group technology quality control purpose we can use the group technology tool design purpose we can use the group technology purchasing purpose we can use the group technology next one is service purpose we can use the group technology so these are the benefits of the group technology or applications of the group technology these types of fields they are used for group technology first one is engineering one equipment specifications one facilities planning one process planning one production control one quality control one tool design purchasing services so these purpose we can use it for group technology these are the benefits and advantages of the group technology so next one is it comes to here path family so the first one is uh, number of parts are uh, grouped for path family so what is the path family path family is a collection of similar parts which are grouped according to their geometric shape and size one so see here path family what is the meaning of path family means it is collecting the similar parts which are grouped so the similar parts are they are collecting and uh, gathering into the group one according to their geometric shape and size based, based on some, some geometric shape and size onwards they are collecting with this type of parts one and uh, they are gathering into the group one so this one we can call as path families so sometimes the parts within a family are different but deserve their identification as member of the path families their similarities are their similarities are close enough for so sometimes the parts within a family are different one but two but different see here the but it is sometimes it will be different parts are but so desire their identification as member of the families their similarities are close enough one their similarities are close in our order so manu they are grouped together one so that one we can call as a path family so these are the application these are the examples amma so see here similar ga unde kabatti so same same ga unna similar parts similar shape and size unna kuda group form chestaru leda so it is closely enough unna kuda we are grouped together one so this one we can call as a path family one so it is introduction about the path family so methods for path family so we are grouping uh, grouping the uh, are collecting the number of parts here so that's why we have uh, some methods in path families we have some methods one there are three general methods for solving the path families grouping all the all are three are time consuming and involving the analysis of much of data by properly trained personals so there are three methods one so see here generally we have the three types of methods so for solving the path families grouping For, sol for solving the path families grouping one so so we have the one problem one so in uh, total industries one so number of parts we have so in number of parts collecting purpose so we are you we can choose for path family in path family we have the, that uh, three types of methods one so uh, these three types of methods they are solving the path families grouping one so the uh, these three these three methods they are solving the path families grouping one so that is a point here all the all the three are time consuming and involving the it is a time consuming one so involving the analysis of much of data by properly trained personals uh, personals so it is a one of the time consuming one and uh, involving the analysis of much data by properly trained personal one the three methods are first one is visual inspection one second one is path classifications one and coding one third one is production flow analysis one the first one is visual inspection one so the first method for path families is visual inspection one the second one is path classifications and coding one the third one is production flow analysis one so these are the methods for path family so these are the methods for path family amma thank you amma it is our today class one so once again i am repeating the today class first one is your today our topic first one is dc machines direct numerical control systems one so basics and introduction of the dc one so on the basic principle operations of dc one so general configuration of dc one and benefits of dc one so that is the 
DC uh, DC port or DC can be a direct control system topics. So next one is uh, so next one we can start for uh, adaptive control system. Adaptive control system is nothing but so it is the total extension of the, the CNC and the NC machines. Why? Because we can get the more accuracy and more speed, uh, more uh, production dates uh, for the cutting speed one. So cutting speed and feed purpose they introduce the adaptive control systems one. So that is the uh, introduction and the basic configurations and the advantages advantages of the uh, adaptive control systems one and next one is we can start for fourth unit one fifth unit one so in fifth unit is group technology group technology is nothing but <coughs> it is one of the classic one in which similar parts are identified and grouped together one to make some advantage of the similar uh, design and production one so it is the introduction about the group technology one in group technology we have the one fourth family so benefits of the group technology this one next one is we can see the fourth family Farm family is nothing more collection of the similar parts in which group would according to their design and uh, design uh, and the geometric size and shape one so I draw geometric size and sh shape onwards they are grouped together in path families one so this one we can call as path family so in this path family and they are collecting the similar parts so so we have the three methods one in collecting the similar parts one so we have the three methods why they are introduced this type of methods means so industries we have the number of parts space parts we have the spare parts uh, identify uh, the spare parts uh, based on the size and uh, shape one so grouping purpose they introduce the this uh, path families one so the identification purpose we have the three methods in path families the first one is visual inspection one second one is path classifications and coding one third one is production flow analysis one so thank you Amma. this is our today class one so tomorrow class we will discuss about methods of path families first one is visual inspection one path classifications and coding one production flow analysis one so these three topics uh, for the next class one. Thank you, Amma.